Beach Vendadores. They always are hustling. So this dude here has been here for a good hour already. If if the tide wouldn't come in, I would bet money that he would stand there all day trying to rent boogie boards. It is amazing the patience that these guys have. Uh, I am constantly impressed with their work ethic and the patience. Uh, yeah, it's 10:30, uh, and uh, this group of women is on their second round of, of beer. Which I kind of think is normal at this point. Um, the one thing about being between two um, groups of women is that uh, all the vendors, all the vendors stop because the women just spend money on this crap like crazy. So after, uh, in between the rain, and when the sun comes out, as you can tell, the, uh, the vendors are kind of like mosquitoes that come out on a hot summer day. They just swarm everybody. So all of a sudden you're just inundated by hats and drinks and sunglasses. Come here, Sansa. Ah, now big out of them. Um, yeah, example. I must have, I lost count of how many times I say, no, obrigado, too many. This, say Brazil. Brazil. Perfecto, muito obrigado, senor. Nice. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> ciao. Ciao, boa tarde. Um, I've got about 45 minutes before it gets dark, and this is a place where you don't go when it's dark, so I want to check this street out in particular. I'm told I should take the, the busy road where I was in the buggy the other day, up by that big building where all the traffic is. That's kind of what I stick to at night. Or the beach, but not the beach directly south of here, because apparently that's very bad too. Um, I don't know why, I'm just going by what the locals tell me, but... Um, we're going to a favorite uh, Primos uh, bar and restaurant and uh, grab a you know, big dog, <coughs> grab a uh, sandwich, and um, head back later tonight. <laughs> 